Hello guys, welcome back to another tech vlog. Today we are in Airbus A320 and we will see how to replace integrated standby instrument system indicator. We will find complete aircraft maintenance procedure from actual Airbus AirNav, some points which has to be taken care during removal and finally we will remove and install our indicator. So watch the video till end and do support us by subscribing the channel and pressing bell icon for notification. Let's find out AMM procedure first. So this is our app nav. We'll go in AMM. And here we will go in chapter 34 which is navigation. And sub chapter 22 standby data attitude and heading. Sub sub chapter will go in indicator ISIS integrated standby instrument system. And then we'll go in page block 401 which is removal installation. Okay. So we'll click on this. See the procedure. So this is the removal procedure. First we will remove relevant CBs over here. They have given the location, the fin number and the this designation. Then here what they are mentioning is before you remove in ISIS indicator, make sure that the two screws that attach the clamp to the aircraft structure are installed as follows. So this need not to be removed. This is the attaching screw for the clamp, the mounting to the panel. So specifically they have mentioned left top and right bottom. We can see this in our diagram. What they are mentioning is this left top and right bottom. This is the screw which is attaching the case, the mounting of the ISIS indicator on the panel. So this has to be installed correctly. Don't loosen this one. For removal of the ISIS, we have to remove this screw number three, which is right top and left bottom. So we'll loosen this and then we'll push it in and then we have to pull this out. So another thing which we have to keep in mind is uh, the caution. When you remove this ISIS indicator, do not use barrow button to pull the indicator out of its housing. You may cause damage to the indicator. So while removal, you should not use this barometric button, the rotary switch for pulling it out. They have given specific uh, tool this extracting tool they have given which is like a plastic or you can pull it with your hand if possible <laughs> for removal of this eye size first we have to remove this panel okay Okay. We'll open this stud. One, two. Now, before you remove it, just try to put some tape because you know this stud comes out and it drops, and sometimes it goes missing. So we'll just put a tape for protection. Then there is a velcro on this panel. We'll take it out and then we'll pull it slowly. Okay. We'll remove this eye size. So while opening the indicator, we have to open the big screw one on the right top okay we have to loosen it one on the right top and one on the left bottom this is for loosening the cage behind we'll just loosen it it will loosen the cage then we can pull it out this two screw should never be opened it should always be tight because this is holding the cage on this panel okay so we'll just loosen this and then push it loosen this and push it then we'll try to Remove the ISIS out slowly. Okay. Now you can see from there there is three connection. One for pitot, red one is for pitot, yellow one is for static, and this is electrical connection. Okay, so the connection is out. Now never touch the pin because it is ESDS item and this is for pitot. This has got two notch, okay. This is for static with three notch. Three notch for static S and two notch for pitot. Okay, it will not go haywire. And this is ESDS item item. Do not touch the pins. After we remove, we'll inspect the connections. No FOD should be there inside. Even in this, the lock should be okay. The spring action inside. Nothing is inside. So this is uh, the removal and now this is the installation part. We'll remove the CB, we'll install all of our thing. Now here they have given the leak test is compulsory or not. They have given it over here. And then you have to push in the CB and do the test. This is the test which has to be done after installation. Yeah. 